What's up guys? In today's video I'm going to show you how to teleport. What's up guys? Elliot here from Venom Films coming at you with another video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to teleport in Hit Film 4 Express. Now I'm sorry I have not uploaded in a long time as I've been busy with exams the last two weeks so I haven't had really time to upload but hopefully we'll get back on schedule now. So for this tutorial all you're going to need is a blank plate which is basically just the background and then you jumping and landing. I also might be doing a shockwave pack so let me know in the comment section if you want to see one of those. I'm going to be using one of the shockwaves for this tutorial just as a trial kind of prototype kind of thing. And yeah so without further ado Let's go on to the tutorial. Okay, so once you're in your editing software, you want to drag on the footage of you jumping up and teleporting. I'm just going to zoom out and put the scale. So first what we do is get the clean plate and the, the footage of me landing. So first we're going to just get the clean plate by scrolling through the footage until I'm out of the frame. And then I'm just going to click the razor tool, chop it there, and then move on a few bits. A little bit to there and chop that there. I'm going to delete that bit at the front and I'm going to drag that to the start of the timeline. Now for the second bit what we want to do is just go to the exact frame where I've jumped up in the air and I'm started to come down. So about there and put that and drag that on. So now we have this which looks okay but we can still do some more to sell the effect. So first I'm going to drag on a shockwave. Now this shockwave I made in Blender. I can, I might be releasing a pack soon, so let me know in the comment section if you want to do that. Well, there's lots of um, ones you can buy, download online. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of the black by changing it to a add blend mode. I'm also going to change the colour of the um, shockwave by going to the hue colorize and dragging that on top. Now I'm going to drag this to a purple because I think purple looks really good for a shockwave. Oh, right, nice bright purple. So once you've done that, we're also going to add a glow to this. I'm matching the intensity up a bit and the threshold down a bit. So I think that looks quite good. So now we have that, what we're going to do is speed this up. So what we're going to do is go to the, the frame before, or two frames before and pull it to the playhead on the timeline so now we want because it we want to have the tap it to kind of the shockwave to appear a few seconds before and we're going to go down in to get the speed effect speed. and drag that on top now we want to keyframe this speed so at the start we're going to put keyframe I'm going to first about till there, we want that to be quite quick, so about eight times quicker so we have that when we land. And then we're just going to change this back to the three frames later, we're going to just have it back to normal. So now once we've done that, we have this. I'm just going to do a RAM preview quickly. We have the shockwave appearing, you coming out of it, and you landing like so. Which looks quite good. But if you notice, the shockwave is actually in front of the person. And we don't want that as it doesn't really sell the effect that well. So now we can just play that through. Now to solve that, what we want to do is um, create a mask of the bottom layer by pressing Ctrl D. On the top layer, just clicking the pen tool on the frame where we want to be masked. So I'd say from about here. So we're just going to click the eye so it disappears on the original footage and zoom in and just oh, create a mask. So we just click 
This doesn't have, this can be quite rough as it doesn't matter too much as you're gonna feather it anyway. But let's go around. Up there. So once we've done that, we're just gonna go to the mask, go to the transform, and make sure we have the path selected. Otherwise, once you've gone all the way through, you'll have lost all that hard work. So now we're just gonna adjust the key framing on this so it's quite close to the body it doesn't have to be too close and you also want to make sure it doesn't actually touch the body as that will look it'll make that bit of the body disappear afterwards just going to go through all this i'm also going to speed this up because it can get a bit boring so i'll see you once i've done Okay, so once you have done that, you want to bring the masked footage on top. So now we have this, which looks a bit chunky around the edges of me. And to make that look better, we're just going to go to the um, shape of this and make the feather strength a bit more. And make sure the roundness is quite. Also, make sure you set this to the out, so it's just feathering outwards and not inwards, otherwise it'll make you disappear. Oh, we're just going to reset that. So, feather stroke. I'll turn that down a little bit. So about there. So now we have this, and make sure to run preview this, as then you get the full quality, otherwise it looks a bit rubbish. So we'll be back when I've run previewed it. So now we can play through that and we have this i'm also going to make maybe the shockwave a little bit longer so once you've done that we're going to make a grade layer which is basically an adjustment layer if you're talking about it in um after effects kind of terms let me zoom out i'm gonna make this lots shorter to the length of it so once you've done that we're going to go onto this grade, grade layer and create a bulge. Oh, spelled that wrong. And just drag that onto the adjustment layer. Now this bulge does is going to make, create the kind of effect of teleporting a bit more. So as you can see, if we click this kind of center point, we can move it around and it makes you look kind of funny. And you can also have a bit of fun by changing these so we can have a decagon and changing the But what we're going to be doing is probably just like the frame or two before, I'm just going to drag that on and we're going to keyframe the bulge. So at the start we're just going to want it to be zero, which is going to be normal, so we're going to press the keyframe. By the time we've got a few frames on, we want the bulge to have increased. And then, a few frames later, we'll have wanted to have gone back to zero. Now the bulge definitely helps sell the effect as it kind of creates the feeling of you coming through into the scene. Like that. And this also takes quite a while to render as you've got quite a lot of layers now. Another thing I've also noticed is the shockwave kind of comes out, goes out quite dramatically. So we're going to add a kind of opacity um, keyframe to the end to make it fade out quite more subtly. So we're going to go to the last frame and change the opacity on the transform to zero. I'm going to go back a few frames to about, let's say, there i'm gonna have it on 800 and the next thing we're gonna do is we're nearly finished is add another grade and on top of this grade we're going to add a um 
color grade. I'm not going to be the color grade I did in a tutorial a while back, so I'll leave a link to that so you can go and see that. It's kind of like a teal and orange kind of dramatic color grade like this. So there we have this. So once we've done that, all that's left to do is add a swoosh kind of sound effect and then render it out. So I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, bye.